get over this thing right here. It's breathtaking. It goes Alright y'all, so I made it into this store where you can get like this t-shirt and whenever the sun hits it, they like, they like change colors and so you can actually put the t-shirt on this machine and it shows you the colors that it'll turn into, just like this one. You'll put the this shirt right here and it'll change the colors. So, I'm gonna get this one for my baby. He got the shark one. Um, and like, everything changes color in the sun, the entire store. They even have the nail polish that changes colors in the sun. So it's pretty cool. These are my favorite things to get when I go away to put on my figure because I feel like I'm going to have them forever. I like this one. It's really pretty. Cute little ones with the bottle opener to it. 
We got the cute Puerto Rico ashtrays for all my smokers out there. We <clears throat> have more magnets over here. They never heard my name on these things, so I doubt they'll have it now. But at least they don't spell it the way I spell it. Yo, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna have to record on my phone. So continue to watch the video. Thank you. I can throw it right in this pool. Okay. Thank you. It feels amazing out here. The wind is blowing, the sun is out. These are some of the restaurants. And I'm actually eating from right here called Don Taco. Taco tacos, yeah. Eating from there. It's all it's outdoor seating as well as inside. So. Like the locals have been amazing with helping and directions and all of that good stuff. And 
it's been easy to get around so I have no complaints um, this is what it looks like into my bathing suits and um, I'm about to head down to the pool at the hotel and enjoy the pool and the beach get a drink or two before we head out for our dinner reservations tonight at 8 30 at Bogo Beach House. So this is what I'm looking out looking like little pineapple little bikini I got this two piece from Arden if you haven't saw my last vlog when I went shopping for a few pieces, um, I got this from there. So these shorts are from Arden as well. Yeah, from Arden. I had these on the last last night, but I'm wearing them again this morning real quick to go down to the pool. I mean, not this morning, this afternoon to go down to the pool. So. That's all that's it, so I'm gonna pick y'all back up when I'm at the pool. So, 
your girl is at Fogo de Child for her birthday dinner or whatever. And I'm going to be totally honest with y'all. It's not all that what it's cracked up to be. The name is cute or whatever. And the whole little full experience, I guess, is what gets people, but... It's they're taking forever to continuously bring the meat the potato the mashed potatoes were cold and they didn't have a wide variety of vegetables i mean they do have like the the little buffet bar but it's not much over there so what you do is if you get the full experience they have a variety of different meats and you use this card. You flip it if you want them to continue to bring your meat. Or you flip it to the red if you want them to stop. Um, I had mine on green, but again, they're taking forever to bring the meat. So, I don't know. Honestly, I probably would give it like a, maybe like a five, six out of the ten because... I don't know, like I said, now, the little lamb chops that I did have, they were okay, they were good, well seasoned, but only had one, <laughs> and I need more, but my mom and them brought me some cards, um, I thought open my cards, yeah, I'm open my my mom, it says, happy birthday to a great daughter, here's wishing you more happiness than there are stars in the sky, seeing them on the beach. Tyra clothes on your floor. Thirty-one. Oh, yeah. 31. oh yo. I sure am. Thank you, ma. ma. This says you deserve more than a card on your birthday. But the bottle of wine didn't fit in the envelope. Yep, 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 yep. I feel like give me well, some love. Thank you. <laughs> and my grandma got me a card. Let's see, let's see. Today the sky's the limit. Oh, grandma. <laughs> Wherever this year takes you for this wonderful happy birthday. Grandma, give me some kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Hey okay, y'all, so it's the next day, Thursday morning, and we just got on this little bus that's going to take us to the Yankee um, uh, Rainforest Trail, and as well as the snorkeling, so that's what we're doing today, this Thursday morning. Um, we're on here with a few other people, so I'm not going to do too much talking, but I'm going to pick the camera up as soon as we get back, as soon as we get to where we're going, to the next destination. So you take pictures and stuff, and then we start going up. Okay? We made it to one part of the rainforest. Those who want to go higher? No, boo. If you just want to show you guys, we think you don't want to go to the you guys want to go to the You guys want to go to the You guys want to go to the You your legs, aren't you going high? Oh, I'm about to go. No, just stay sitting. Uh, I'm you, about to slide. Stay sit, okay? All right. Sit back. I'm ready. Close your legs. And stay sitting. One, two, and... <laughs> Fresh water from Puerto Rico, where we just jumped. 
a 38-foot cliff. Alright y'all, so we made it back from the Rainforest Trail, which was amazing. I never did anything like that, so that was really, really cool. And we're on our way to snorkeling, but he brought us to this place right here. And we're about to try some food. We're about to see what they have. Um, What is that? What's that? White. Beef or crab meat? Crab meat, crab. The little ones are going. Crab, oh, crab, 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 crab meat, crab meat. They're really good anyway. You want to drive one of those? Fuego, fuego, fire, fire. You want to drive one with the crab? Only one that drink about it, what else? And one of those with the crab meat. You're not going to put it away yet. Where were we staying? Yeah. At the Ocean Club. Ocean Club. Well, the Double Tree. The Double Tree. All right, y'all. So we made it to the second location where we're going to go snorkeling. We just got out of one van and met the other tour guide that's over here. He's getting the equipment ready. This one's empty. She's laughing. I never. Is it dangerous? The snorkeling. So we're going to go snorkeling over there in the pretty water. That's over there. We going snorkeling over there, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record and like take my camera near the water and I really don't want to so just know and my phone died so I can't even carry it in my little waterproof case that sucks so hopefully you guys can picture it in your head me snorkeling yeah. Alright y'all, so we made it back from the rainforest trail and the snorkeling. I just got in, showered, changed my clothes. Um, I'm about to head back out, grab something to eat, grab me a drink to, or two maybe. And um, yeah, then I'll probably come back and chill for the rest of the evening. That um, trail and snorkeling, it was very, very 
exhausting but amazing i had a wonderful time um well we left around 8 15 8 30 ish this morning we just got back at around what is it like five o'clock yeah we just got back so, that was an all day thing but it was worth it it definitely was worth it the snorkeling the trail like i said i never did anything like that before so if you guys do decide to come to puerto rico and do the rainforest trail just remember um to wear some sneakers wear some comfortable shoes of course wear your bathing suits or swim trunks um with your clothes bring bug spray bring sunscreen and bring an extra cleaning tools just in case be prepared to get muddy be prepared to climb pipe all of that good stuff but like i said it was nothing short of amazing i'm getting a bump here snorkeling was good too um i got to saw a lot of good fish i saw a blow up fish i saw a squid um, and then I just saw a different color little fish and stuff like that. So that was really cool. Uh, and then they, like, I, I don't know. If, yeah, I showed you guys that we stopped on the side of the road at this barbecue grill pit place to grab a bite to eat. I got a tan. I got dark. But... Yeah, you guys, so I'm about to go out, head out to eat, get a drink or whatever. So I will pick you guys back up. I'll probably just take my phone instead of taking my camera because my camera is so big and bulky and I really don't want to be carrying that around. So I'm going to just take my phone and that's going to be that. Yeah. All right, y'all. So it is officially day four, Friday morning. Um, just got up not too long ago. Got dressed. And I just got on some black shorts that I got from Arden. I got this little black um, bodysuit that I got from that store. I got the look. And I don't need to put on Mark Sandals. These have been my go to as far as splits. They're very comfortable, easy to slide on. And these glasses I also got from. I got these from Primark. And yeah, that's about it. Just got on this little necklace that I got from Arden. No earrings. So today we're actually going zip lining. That will be at 1 o'clock. Um, like I said, it's still pretty early, so we're about to go get some breakfast. I believe we're going to go back to Penier's. They have really good breakfast there. Not exactly sure, whatever we stumble across, but that is the, on the agenda for today. Zip breakfast, then zip lining at one, and then after that, it's whatever, whatever we come across. Um, so this is the last full day that we have here so we're going to make the most of it i know i will so i'm looking shiny because i just sprayed on my sunblock for today well for now um and yeah and i moisturize my face with sunblock and then my moisturizer so Yo, these breakfast tacos, bussy, good, real good. And I got me a passion fruit mimosa. With the little champagne. But it's 1225 and I'm coming in kind of in a rush because I told y'all I gotta hurry up, get ready to go zip line. 
So I'm gonna finish eating these tacos and then I'm gonna get back to y'all when I get to my next destination. All right, y'all, so we just got to the zip lining site. We're walking up the stairs to go and check in. I believe it's a total of five zip lines, five bridges. And I don't know if you guys saw on the way here, we saw some white bears, which is, it's only one of their kind. So that was pretty cool. Got this, got this. I'm gonna get my back for us. All right, now y'all gotta sign your life away before y'all go zip lining. So just be aware. Can I get a drink before I do this? Can I get left foot? Right one there? Pull out to your waist. Uh -huh. Let me take this. You need me to hold this side? No. I got it. Make sure I'm prepared, okay? You are? Alright, y'all. Y'all saw so I just got suited and suited up. I'm ready. Those guys are the ones suiting you up. I told them to make sure I was secured. But we about to go, y'all. See y'all on the other side. Okay, sit down. Nah. Sit back. Do the Miley. One walk. Thank you. Alright y'all. Zip line number three. There's two more, right? <laughs> yes, two more after this one. Okay. Okay. The hands, like this. Y'all, so I'm at the final and last zip line, which is the fastest zip line they have. So, and it leads over to the bar, all the way over there. So, I'm up next. Let's go. the camera? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you have fun? Yes, that was amazing. All right. So remember please if you have a couple of minutes of your time let us know that you how was your experience today. Okay. okay. Let others know you're still breathing. That's the most important part. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. We back at the bar. Let us to the bar. We made it. We made it. That's what I did. So, it is Saturday morning. It is officially my last day here. Excuse me, I'm looking crazy. I just got up. It's 8 o'clock this morning. Um, I was straightening up the room, getting my stuff together. Um, I do leave today. I leave this evening. And so, 
to finish off my last day I'm about to head and go get me a full body massage from the spa down the street so I must say everything was amazing no complaints um, I really enjoyed myself Puerto Rico is a beautiful island um, I definitely will come back and enjoy more um, the places they have here. Mm -hmm. I planned on going to La Placitas last night, which is where like their um, club is and all that good stuff. It's like a little area you go to. But the guy was telling me like you should get there like 7 o'clock because if you don't get there early, then, like, the police, they come and block the streets off so people can go in and out. Although the curfew has been lifted, they still try to monitor how many people are coming. So, and I didn't want to go there early. We had just came back from the zip line not too long. I was kind of tired. So, I just wound up ordering something to eat, got me a few drinks, sat by the beach, and just relaxed. So... Then I wind up coming upstairs and fell asleep. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to get ready for this massage really quick. I'm going to shower. And um, yeah, so I'm going to pick you guys back up when I get there. And then, yeah, then I'll give you guys a more full in-depth detail about Puerto Rico at a later date. Um. But not right now because I'm in a rush. Well, not in a rush, but I need to get ready. So. I will pick you guys back up when I get to my next destination. professional massage I know late to the game but it was okay thank you I think maybe I was expecting a little more like it was only a 60 minute massage so I mean I got my money's worth for sure but I think I was expecting just a little bit more but anyway it was good though I was relaxed and things like that so now I'm sitting here in Margaritaville inside the airport my flight doesn't leave until 5 50 and it's only like 3 30. um my mom and them they already left they are on their flight already so they are up in the air on their way back to philly and i will be next puerto rico was amazing i definitely recommend people to come and visit um i would definitely come back Sooner rather than later, like the the weather was perfect the entire time. The people were nice. The food was amazing, um, except for Fogo de Child. 
um, it wasn't bad, like, my experience just wasn't good, like, but anywho, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother vlog. Other than that, yes, I recommend anybody to bring to come out and explore the island. Um, it's definitely, you can bring your children here. Uh, yeah, so it's definitely, I give it a, I definitely give it a 9 out of 10. I give it a 9 out of 10. And I only say that because it low-key give off, like to me, it low-key give off. Miami vibes a little bit, but but more I don't know. I don't know, but it definitely is worth the trip to come out and um, explore. So yeah, you guys, I'm about to sit up here, enjoy the this drink, enjoy my chips and dip, and wait for my plane. I miss my baby, y'all. My son, I talked to him this morning. He was jumping on the bed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind, I'm kind of margarita out. That's all I've been drinking since I got here. Margaritas, 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 margaritas. A little strong, but I don't want to waste my battery. Now that I'm thinking, I don't know if I pick my battery charger. I don't know if I did. I don't remember. I'm gonna be sick if I didn't. I'm gonna be sick if I didn't. But um, let me go, you guys, and I will see you guys. I guess when I get back to Philly.